You've been listening to The Mountain Gardener with local expert Ken Lang. Join the conversation every week as he answers timely garden questions. Email Ken a question directly from your phone to his desktop through the web at watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com. Now welcome back your host, Ken Lane. So the last of the vegetables, my summer vegetables, have been picked. Uh, they're, they're, there's no more. There's no more cucumbers, no more tomatoes, at least in my garden. So I, I didn't protect them. I covered them for a, for a few nights and I went, okay, that's it. That's enough. It's got too cold, too, too strong. And the, the, the way you can tell when your vegetables are done, basically the, the foliage turns black. And so what happens is these are tropical plants, things that form a fruit. So your eggplants, uh, pumpkins, squash, uh, beans, these are things that form an actual uh, fruit that you pick off and, and use in the kitchen. Those are typically tropical plants. They love the summer. They do not like frost. And so we've had our first frost, at least here in the Central Highlands. You folks may be in a little lower elevation. Your time's coming within days. But basically, we're here at the end of the season. The way you know frost got to your plant is a tropical plant has no, I mean, zero antifreeze in it. And so with if you, if you look at them cold, if you get close to 32 degrees or freezing, they turn black. So the the the... The, the sap inside the foliage or the stems, the, the structure of the plant, uh, the, the cells of the plant literally explode. And it just, the plant just wilts and dies. And the indication will be the next morning, the leaves are black. They look like someone took a, a blowtorch to them. So they just melt. They just turn black. And it can be just the outer, the top edge turns black. And then as we get a few more nights of cold, of, of freezing, the whole thing will turn black. Well, I went, okay, I've seen a few black leaves. I know it's over. We're done. I'm going to pick those few last fruits on the inside of the plant. Pick those. And then harvest and then the rest of the plant. I've actually pulled the plants out of the ground. Actually, Lisa went through and she cleaned up our gardens for us. It looks, it looks magnificent. Uh, we haven't quite gotten the soils ready yet. So I'll bring home a few bags of manure. I'll spread that two to three inch layer over the entire garden area and let it just sit there and percolate all winter, kind of let it go. And then next February, a couple months, two, three months from now, I'll go ahead and turn that in, get our soil, get the bone meal, get everything ready for planting of potatoes next March for onions and garlics and uh, lettuce and spinach. There's a whole series of cool season plants. So there's two season, warm season, tropical plants. These are tomatoes, things you form the, you pick the fruit off, cucumbers, uh, eggplant. Uh, uh, these are things you're, you're, you're picking the fruit. Those are summer plants, almost always. Things you're forming, you're picking the flower, the stems, the foliage, those are winter plants. So those are lettuce, spinach, uh, parsley, arugula. There's a whole series of them. If you're harvesting broccoli, you're, you're, you're eating the flower of that plant. Those are things that like the cold. They don't like summer. They bolt. They lose their flavor. They get off. They get bitter tasting. A sweeter cauliflower is picked when it's, when it's still chilly at night. So they like the cold. They've got a lot of antifreeze built into them. That's why they're so good at their antioxidants and that kind of thing. So they're very healthy for you. And you can plant those. I'd say you you you, could, you probably still plant some now and harvest by Christmas, uh, so especially a little bit more mature plant. And so by March, I'm starting to plant all those things. So my my potatoes go in the ground, root crops, uh, 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 radishes, and and carrots they go in then. So I'm I'm getting my soil soils opened up. I'm getting some organic matter back onto a two to three inch layer. Let it sit there. And then in February, I'd say by the first, between February 1 and Valentine's, sometime in there, I'll, I'll put my fertilizers down, get them ready, organics. I'll put my bone meal in there. I'll get things just kind of ready to go. I'll turn that to one shovel's depth. Then I'll just, you know, let it sit for a week or two. And by March 1, we are back into the full-on gardening season. By then, you've got daffodils blooming. Your winter jasmine are in full bloom. Your, your uh, winter blooming... Uh, camellias, they're in bloom by then. I mean, spring's on. 
So that's the beauty of this part of the country, of this part of the state, Arizona. We're, we're four seasons, but it's super mild. So yeah, we'll take a little break here for two, three months. And we're right back at it, which is kind of exciting as a gardener. Get to see things. Pansies. We're putting a lot of pansies in right now. Uh, uh, hookra. These are winter blooming things. It's, we're so mild. Yes, it's winter, but it's so mild. They bloom right through winter. It's amazing. So you can have pot full of, of, of kale, of violas, of dusty miller. These are things in the Midwest. Yeah, they, they'll bloom for till the end of the year, and then they, they get frozen and vaporized. Not here. We don't do that. It's so easy here. It's so beautiful. Uh, gardening is, if you, if you hit the seasons right, gardening is very easy. If you try to garden against the season, against the environment, you're trying to put tomatoes in right now. That's what they're doing down in Phoenix. Not up here. It's too cold. Here we're putting in, we've had in our kales and our, our cab ornamental cabbages, our our violas and pansies and lettuce. These are things that love being planted now. So work with the season, not against it. And if you see black foliage, just meant it got frosted. Pull them out, start over, get the soils ready for your gardens this year and next. Be right back after this. Your yard will turn heads with stunning evergreen shrubs from Waters Garden Center. Waters grows greener shrubs for year round interest, as well as blooming shrubs for pops of color in spring. Attract birds with a tall privacy hedge and the berries that follow. Plus, winter evergreens are easier to grow than other plants. No matter your landscape, we have the perfect shrubs for a greener winter. Visit Waters Garden Center in Prescott or online at watersgardencenter.com. We believe in roses that smell like a rose at Waters Garden Center. The Mountain Gardener, your source for timely garden advice right for higher elevations. Guaranteed to make a difference in your yard this season. 